Heifetz. I'm the Chief Business Officer, Innovative Supply Solutions, our ISS. Joining me today, uh, actually in the room, is Adam Warren, our founder and CEO. Uh, Adam has a great background, uh, over 25 years of experience with some of the biggest pharmaceutical companies in the world, including Johnson & Johnson, AstraZeneca. Um, he's considered a subject expert in clinical supplies, and uh, Adam and his teams have run over a thousand clinical trials. So we know our customers, we know their needs, we know their pain. Uh, from, from my perspective, um, I've been in a bunch of different uh, startups across life sciences, and uh, I've, I've been really leading finance and business development, uh, a number of those, and have uh, done deals that have accumulated over $75 million uh, over my career. Two things probably all of us have heard about. Clinical trials, supply chains. If you remember one thing, we do both of those. So ISS, we are a SaaS that's software as a service, web-based technology company. We help pharma address the, the production and logistics challenges they face in a clinical trial. We're currently at 1.4 million ARR, annual recurring revenue. We're here today to talk to you about our current $1 million raise. This is designed to increase sales and scale the operations of the business. Now, at ISS, we believe that 15 years and over a billion dollars is too much time and too much money to bring a new drug to market. We all heard about clinical trials. That's a big part of it. What we may not all appreciate, though, and you don't have to be an expert to know this, is that clinical supplies is a big piece of that. And by clinical supplies, we're talking about all the drug and the materials, all the stuff that goes into a clinical trial. And today, the Excel spreadsheets and the legacy systems that pharma is relying on to do this isn't really working. And, and, that's, and that, that prevents them from getting the right drug to the right patient the right time every time. And getting it wrong can be catastrophic. You can have patients who are harmed. We have errors. We have waste. We have situation where an entire trial or an, even a program that can cost $100 million or more ends up a total failure because of this. So we have the solution, ISS Nexus. This is the central hub for clinical supplies. There's three components that are put together, cloud-based system. The forward forecasting part creates a forward-looking model, essentially full simulation, runs the trial before it happens. We have another system called IRT. You don't have to know what that means, but that's the part that keeps track of what patient got what drug at the clinical trial sites. And then finally, inventory management puts that all together and provides a high-level view to do enable production planning. We know this works. Um, we have a success, a case study. We saved one company, and this was in one hour meeting. We saved a company over $400,000 of avoided cost in a manufacturing run they didn't need, and three months time off their development timeline, which is, again, is huge. So to shift gears a little bit, I um, talked about how we make money. Uh, we're in a, a, over a billion dollar addressable market. We have a land and expand SaaS model. We think it's very feasible for us to make significant penetration into that market. So I mentioned we're here today. We're talking about our million dollar raise. It's half subscribed currently. Uh, ben Franklin Technology Partners of our friends in Pennsylvania are, are currently the lead on that. Um, we'd love to talk to anybody who's interested participating. We have, we have high growth potential. We see exit opportunities within two to three years. And we know there are a lot of companies out there that are going to want to buy us if we can achieve that kind of growth. So again, thank you very much. OK, up next is Kinemetrics. Over 1 million patients fall in the US hospitals each year, over a third of which result in injury and lead to 11,000 excess deaths. Kinemetrics has developed an artificial intelligence platform that uses electronic health record data to predict and prevent patient harm events in hospitals, accurately predicting hospital fall risk in real time. Please welcome CEO of Kinemetrics, Davina Desai. Good morning. I'm Davina Desai. I'm the CEO of Kinemetrics. Um, so Kinemetrics uses an AI platform to predict patient harm events in hospitals to enhance patient safety. As Bill mentioned, over 1 million patients fall each year in hospitals. One third of those are injurious and ex extends length of stay by 8 to 12 days. It costs on average $7,000 per fall. That 
is a $7 billion problem in, for all US hospitals. The current standard of care uses subjective assessments. They are time consuming for nurses to complete and are completed every eight to 12 hours. We developed our solution using actual inpatient records, 500,000 inpatient records, and we use 40 plus objective variables from the electronic health record. How that works is we automatically extract data from the patient's record, we assess it on our AI platform, and then we write a risk assessment back to the patient record with individualized risk drivers. That allows nurses, clinicians to individualize care planning for each patient. And we are the only solution out there that is built solely to address hospital-acquired conditions, and we're the only one that focuses on clinicians as well. We have a dynamic team between Patrick, myself, and Todd. We have 80 plus years of hospital administration and clinical experience, and we've collectively raised six million non-dilutive funding as well. We have two pilots that will go live early in 2023 that bring in $500,000, a little less than that, in revenue. And we have another $4 million in our pipeline for 2023 as well. So falls, I mentioned, is the first hospital-acquired condition we're targeting. But our clinical-driven AI has additional applications. We're looking at pressure injuries, which is a larger market, a $35 billion problem in the US. We're going to develop that later in 2023, followed by hospital-acquired infection prediction in 2024. So that, with three modules in the market and our land and expand strategy, we project revenues upwards of $80 million by 2027. We are currently raising a seed round, $750,000 to support our integrations, and we have um, raised 250 of that already. Thank you. <laughs>